Yes. <laughs> Howdy, it's Matt. And it's not a phone day. Instead, we have a very little angry wasp inside of this package. Literally just been and turned up, so let's get it unpackaged. Uh, I was going to do one of those snazzy intros and then we'd have everything lined out on the desk, but actually I was genuinely surprised by what I found. Uh, it comes with its own little protective case. How cool is that? Right, when I say angry wasp, what I mean is... <laughs> Look how small that is. It is a whoop on steroids and you wait till you get to the best, best bit. That's for us. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is going to be absolutely ape. So Banggood came to me, and I've been in such conversations with them lately about uh, our normal fixed wing stuff, uh, and they offered a collection of different multi rotors. So not my cup of tea, and they pointed this one out, and I was like, uh, okay, yes, I would love to take a look at this one in more detail, and they sent one over. It took about 12 days, 12 to 14 days to make its way here uh, from direct from China. I have gone for the FR Sky version. Now, there are multiple receiver options for this multi-rotor, and I'll put a, like a scroll, like a bit at the bottom of the screen, because you've got Crossfire, you've got FR Sky, there's just loads of different options, which is absolutely fantastic. And I've gone for the FR Sky for mine. Right, what are the specs on this little thing and what's inside the package? So let's get this thing organised and let's go from here. So I've got everything come packaged now. Let's have a quick run round what we get in our delivery. Is that number one, we get a hard case for storage, which is great for transport. Uh, we get four pro spare propellers, uh, some stickers by the looks of it. Oh, this foam, uh, double-sided foam, which goes round the outside of the propeller ducts if you want some extra protection. Ideal if you're flying inside, let's be brutally honest. Uh, you can tell that they've used a real FR Sky XM Plus receiver because you've got the uh, binding details in there, which is fantastic. We've got some instructions as well. One, a couple of things which I didn't expect is A, there is a second uh, cover for the camera on top, which I think is pretty damn cool. They have been included. I've never seen one like this, and it's just worth a special note. Look how long that USB lead is. So that must mean to be, for us to be going and connect this up to beta flight, yeah, that is gonna be quite good fun for us to get that in the side of the camera. That's why they've been provided this peculiar USB connector. Uh, also, and again, a really nice thing, and again, this is a premium product. You've got a hot, an entire spare frame. When was the last time you bought something? Uh, and it came with uh, basically an entire set of, uh, Prop protectors, I think that's super cool, and the coverings for that as well. Also, of course, you get free 4S 260 milliamp here. They're saying 40 stroke ATC batteries. It's somewhat questionable in there, uh, but they are LIHV cells, so you charge these up to 4.35 volts, not just uh, 4.2 volts, so that should give you some extra range. Uh, and of course, we've got free cells, One's extra underneath here, and I believe there's an option on the Banggood site where you can go on and purchase even more cells as well. Now, they have included some 3D printed supports, I guess, for transport in here. Uh, taking a quick look around the actual device itself, uh, we can see we've got two antennas on the top. That must be for our XM Plus, which is just here on the front uh, of the quad. Uh, we've got our video transmitter up here on the side. We've got these tiny, and I, they, these are going to be mental. Not only is it 4S, it's also got 6,900 kV. Just look how tiny those little motors are. They are so tiny. Uh, they are GLANG GL1202, uh, 6,900 kV. And of course, that's on 4S as well. So kVs are, I'm sure you already know, uh, revolutions per volts. And of course, if we're up at 15 volts plus, uh, is that that is a crazy number of resolutions. So this is going to be, uh, when I said, when I had the package on the desk, I said it was going to be an angry little wasp, and that's exactly what this is going to be. So, that's the overview. I will 
But while I've been here chatting away, I would have put some specifications down the left hand side of your screen so you can see the full details for this one. Uh, I do like, just looking at that, the 3D printed cover for the camera up there on the note. Ah, look at that, it's just come into focus. I think that is very cool. And also, first impressions, I love that they've been provided a second frame. I've had very, very cheap multi rotors here, uh, and they've not been very, very good at all. They literally have only lasted a very short period of time, uh, and getting spare parts of them has been a nightmare. So, realistically, them including a second bumper frame, uh, in what is in technically it is the frame, uh, is very happy, happy days. I think working on this is obviously we're dealing with small parts, but in reality, that's not impossible. Even bundled in, I've just realized what that is, uh, they've even bundled in a buzzer underneath that top shell as well. I think that's pretty cool. Coming into beta flight, there were a couple of things which I decided that needed to be changed if we connect up. Number one, we can see that it's moving in the correct orientation and we can see that it's been flashed with the very latest version uh, of beta flight at the time of recording, 4.20. We'll go into the ports tab and we'll see that we've got the VTX Tramp uh, protocol setup, which does mean that we can remotely change our channels, etc., uh, via our transmitter and modes, which is very <laughs> makes things an awful lot easier. Uh, let's be honest here. Uh, one note around the frame: it's not a true X frame, if that makes sense. The front two motors are slightly more forwards uh, than the rear two, uh, so not technically a true X frame, but in reality, it doesn't make much difference. Uh, I did notice, I did watch somebody else's video, and they noted that the PID loop frequency was on theirs was set to 8 kilohertz, while as mine was set to 4 kilohertz, so I think that's pretty good for an F4 flight controller. Uh, taking a look at the settings, we don't have air mode uh, permanently enabled, which is perfectly fine by me. Uh, and do remember that this multi-rotor does actually have a beeper installed on it, which is fantastic because you will lose it in a tree or in a field or longer grass very, very easily. And that is a key feature which we'll get to uh, in just a moment. Uh, there's our power and battery. Now, when it comes to the fail safe is that it is set to drop, which is absolutely fine by me. You can alter that accordingly. By the way, if you're not seeing this, these additional options down the left-hand side of your beta flight, you just need to go and take the enable expert mode in the top right-hand corner. The and there goes my transmitter. <laughs> you can tell I've been here working on it. Is that the first thing to note with the pitch tuning, there is an obvious tune which has been set in here. Uh, profile one is different to profile two. Uh, and I have had a cheeky quick flight on it and it does feel quite dialed in. Although I have not flown it via FPV and I will get to the reason why in just a moment. One nice thing with the transmitter, sorry, with the receiver is that they have been and uh, set it up to have the uh, RSSI on auxiliary 12. Now do note, you will need to set that within your transmitter. And also I did run into issues because the XM Plus, which was supplied with the drone all was set to FCC. So those of you which are, are in the United States, you won't have a problem, okay? However, if you have the LBT software on your transmitter, then you're gonna need to flash that receiver with the right version and I've put a separate, like I mentioned earlier, I have a separate video on how to do that in the video description for you. Relatively straightforward, although I must admit a little bit fiddly and let's be realistic here, it is a 50-50 draw one where you are in the world. So moving on into the modes tab. Now you will notice that I have changed mine a little bit. This is to my own personal taste. I have auxiliary one for my arm switch. I have angle in the middle and then also horizon. Shock horror, I actually prefer to fly in horizon uh, rather than angle or air mode. I just freely admit that, put it that way. Uh, moving on to the beeper, you'll notice that I have the beeper set on two switches. Now the bit which was catching me out and I need to move that one out as well and that one out while I'm here as well. Uh, is that uh, VTX pit mode uh, is that I have set that on my arm switch. So when my multi-rotor is disabled, we are in pit mode. Of course, then when we arm, it goes to the opposite end uh, and it comes out of pit mode. I did have a very odd quirk that 
Uh, the moment I turn on the board with a battery is that it would flash up as being beta flight and then suddenly disappear and it was driving me nuts. And the reason it was the combination of not only the VTX pit mode, but also the disabling uh, of the VTX control, which was so that you'll notice those are on both one. So when they flip up to the top is happy days is that then I get a full range on the uh, VTX. Now, talking about the VTX, if we go into Video Transmitter, uh, we can set our default channel as accordingly. Obviously, if you're in the UK, you will change that to 25 milliwatts, of course, and then click Save in the bottom right-hand corner. When it comes to the on-screen display, I've got to admit, I don't really like their layout. Now, when it comes to on-screen displays, on-screen displays are always very much a personal preference. So you'll see that I'm immediately moving things around the screen to suit my own personal requirements. Uh, so as always, when it comes to on-screen displays, they really are uh, up to you uh, and what makes sense uh, for you. Uh, and your model. So I'm going to move that one over there. There, that's more like it. And then click save on the right hand side. And of course, it's beta flight. So you can configure your on screen display however you like. And remember, there are multiple profiles as well available to you. So the difference is I have been included a text file with a copy of these down in the video description and you will notice that profile zero is the one which has been and come out of the box. Uh, hence probably why I've just noticed the YOLO pass Hertz on there. Uh, so it looks like they have been in tune this out of the factory, which is always a really good sign. I've run into other issues with other multi-rotors in the past before. However, it's interesting that they've kind of gone to that level with this one. So like I said, I'll include a text file of the differences for my multi-rotor because uh, it does seem to have newer settings compared to some of the other videos which I've been in seeing recently. And I will include a link to that in the video description for you. Anyway, that's enough of the chit chat. It's stopped raining. Let's go out and smash this thing around the sky. I must admit, getting used to this drone was a little bit difficult. And the reason why I'm saying it's a little bit difficult is because it really is for us. So if you smash that throttle up anything more than, say, a third of the stick, is that it goes like absolute stink. It is an absolute possessed hamster with anything more than one third throttle and I've got to put my hand up I did find that quite tricky to begin with uh, and I've lo left in lots and lots of mistakes uh, in the FPV footage because that's what happens when you're learning to fly a new multi-rotor you have to dial your thumbs in and there's some earlier flights included in here and then there's some later ones uh, I'll give you a hint the later ones are when we go wander off into the woods uh, and that was absolutely fantastic and that actually brings me to a point is the camera uh, some people had mentioned they didn't get on with the fisheye in the camera I'm not really detecting bad fisheye I have had very very bad fisheye FPV cameras here before uh, the only issue which I had ironically was not seeing out the camera or the focal range of the camera itself the issue which I had was the little screw on the right hand side of the camera going into the TPU 3d printed little mount actually came loose so what you'll notice but when we flick between the different uh clips of the FPV footage you'll notice that the camera angle has changed and that threw me off a little bit uh, obviously I've gone on and put a little bit of E7000 glue down the side of it to hold it still uh, and tighten up the screw on the opposite side uh, and that has been and resolved it now one really daft point and I mentioned it just a few moments ago when we were looking at beta flight really do set the beeper on this model it is so small it disappears so so quickly and I almost trod on it uh, so yeah and that's in not particularly long grass so make sure you set the beeper mode and make sure you actually use the beeper as well. Now, the last comment which I would like to, to mention is the flight time with the Anger 75. Uh, I was experiencing up to seven minutes of mixed flying. Uh, and I think more experienced pilots may get that down to four or five minutes, especially if you're absolutely fresh in it. Uh, but for the fun which I was having, seven minutes 
was a long time uh, and I was taking pauses between each battery and remember it does come with free batteries and you actually need that, that few moments just to recover uh, because it is really absolutely bonkers when you jam that throttle up it is gone like an absolute rocket so time for me to wrap up. My impressions are very, very good. I cannot wait to go on and get my thumbs really dialed in with this drone now. As you can see, I have had really, really good fun here this afternoon. I've, Even though it was quite windy and it is a smaller drone and I was getting blown around, which is no big surprise because it is absolutely tiny. Uh, and But the ra it stopped raining. Uh, and as you can see, the area which I've got to FPV in with... This little Anger 75 is absolutely fantastic. So I will be back out there. The batteries are actually on charge behind me. Uh, and I am going to quickly nip out there again uh, later this evening. Uh, not with the air gates, but I will be down going through those woods because that adventure was just so much fun. So my impressions, very, very good. I like that you get free batteries. The camera, for me, was very good. Uh, and I, <laughs> it doesn't stop me hitting trees, though. <laughs> no matter how good the camera is, I've just seen the footage. Uh, but get on it onto a serious point. I like that the camera's fine. The VTX is switchable. Uh, and I was running on 25 milliwatts here. And I wasn't running into any issues. Oh, I also flew this around in the house as well. Didn't have, uh, And it may not have been on 25 milliwatts. My walls are three foot thick. And I didn't have an issue with reception. Even going around a large staircase. And into each room separately. So, yeah. The VTX, genuinely impressed with. Remember, it's a dipole antenna, so you need a dipole or linear antenna on your goggles or receiver station. Besides that, like at the point I was trying to say, genuinely impressed, and I can't wait to go and fly it more. So that's the Anger 75X. Any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments section underneath this video. And I just want to say two thank yous, actually. Uh, the first thank you is obviously to Banggood for allowing us to see what this drone is like even in less than in exper experienced hands but also to sonic model for supplying those air gates that was the first time i've actually been out and started hitting them uh, and they were a fantastic target for me to hit so thank you very much bang good and thank you very much sonic model it was very much appreciated Anyway, for myself, Matt, time for me to go. If you're new here, by the way, I'm Matt. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to press the red subscribe button and, of course, the bell notification so that YouTube notifies you when the next video is out. Of course, we could be out with the Anger 75 again or we could be trying to smash a wing round in that little area through those air gates as well. Anyway, as always, from myself, Matt, a big thank you to you for taking the time to join me here at the workbench in the garden with something which... I've got to admit, it's quite good fun and I can't wait to get back out there. So I'm going to get the get the, the other batteries charged and I'm going to go and smash it around these woods. So for myself, Matt, cheerios! <laughs>